Yo, what's good? Welcome to week two, day one of Muse 360, hip hop culture, history, and aesthetics. I'm the real Dr. Dre, aka DJ Food Stamp. Doing something that I don't think I'd ever do, that I don't think like any hip hop head would ever think they'd see. Um, but I'm here, full blown Farmer Joe style hat, my Bernie shirt you know, farmer hat, farmer hat and shirt on, um, sitting on my tractor, about to give a talk on DJ Cool Herc and the B-Boys and B-Girls of the Boogie Down Bronx. I may get my hip hop pass, torn up, revoked, burnt, drop kicked, or whatever, but you know, I was just down here doing some work, so figured we'd drop, we'd drop some hot knowledge on y'all from the tractor. So today we are gonna talk about the pioneer, the godfather, the father, whatever you want to call him, the man, DJ Cool Herc. We're going to talk about hip hop aesthetics um, and primarily the DJ culture. You know, we got a little taste of this um, uh, in Rubble Kings, and then we're going to watch a little, a little film, uh, about 30 minutes of a film at the end of the class called The Hip Hop Years. Um, so you can hear these people talk about it for themselves and kind of work us through some of this stuff. So uh, I'd ask you to read a few things. I had asked you to read a little bit in a chapter from Dick Hebdige's book um, um, about the Jamaican sound system culture, sound clash culture. Uh, I'd asked you to read quite a bit, um, you know, in Trisha Rose's book, Black Noise, um, about hip hop culture. But and then some comics and stuff like that. So I, I think a couple of things just, you know, let's talk about, you know, what gave rise to hip hop, right? So, you know, from last week or from our, our you know, last lecture, you know, uh, 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 we saw the socioeconomic conditions of New York City, right? Post-industrialization, here's a city that's been stripped of industry and therefore, you know, jobs. Um, you know, uh, so, you know, we had all everything from, you know, redlining, white flight, you know, uh, planned shrinkage, uh, broken windows, police policy, all that stuff, you know, with the economic stuff. And then urban misplanning, you know, that kind of created, you know, this place that um, had been stripped of, of mostly everything, you know, and had been whittled down to a very small population living in some pretty harsh um, conditions. Um, but, you know, hip hop is about communication. It's about, um, you know, expression. Uh, it's about, you know, putting one's style as a mark of their individual individuality out there. A lot of this comes from Rose's book, okay? It's about taking back space, you know, uh, DJs throwing jams in public parks, graffiti uh, artists, you know, bombing trains and bombing subways um, and stuff like that. So it's about taking back space and having a voice, okay? Uh, Hip-hop is about, you know, appropriating technology, you know, figuring out how to get, you know, how to make new music and new culture out of someone else's records, you know, using someone's two copies of someone's records, you know, um, you know, using turntables in different ways, using samplers in different, different ways, using headphones as a microphone, you know, um, tapping lampposts, you know, in the South Bronx and stuff and stuff like that. So it's about appropriation, you know, of marks, of symbols from dominant and mainstream society as well. There's an element of social justice. There just has to be, you know, um, specifically with Africa Bambata and the Zulu Nation, but, you know, again, if we look at the preconditions, the social preconditions that gave way to this movement, there, there is inexplicably and without a doubt, um, partly what drove, you know, a lot of it was the, you know, of the culture of the music and the dance and the art was, you know, a lack of resources, right? Um, and figuring out what you could do with a lack of resources. Um, obviously, you know, hip hop's born out of social... Um, inequity, racial inequity, economic inequity, um, you know, structural racism, etc. As we we chatted about in the last class, hip hop is a way that gives people, um, a, a, you know, basically a method for young people to 
create a name for themselves, to give themselves value, to give themselves an identity, and an identity maybe not their government name, but their graffiti name, their, their b-boy, b-girl name slash persona, their MC persona, you know, their DJ persona, whatever it is, you know, but um, really about, you know, giving this group, you know, giving a group of these disenfranchised young black and brown teenagers, you know, giving them a voice to say, you know, we're here, we're somebody, look at what we can fucking do. You know, look what we can do. And, and again, you, you, you put all this together and you look at like hip hop now as a global multi-bajillion dollar industry and look at what these kids did right they made something out of really nothing you know and that became like one of the biggest arts and cultural social movements of like generations you know multiple generations you know um Often, you know, hip hop is also in opposition to mainstream society. Now, this is like, <laughs> you know, hip hop is mainstream now, right? It's it's on TVs and commercials, and you know, it's 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 full blown mainstream, soccer mom approved, you know, music and culture, right? But initially, it started in opposition to mainstream society and the mainstream society that had you know dissed these young brothers and sisters. So. Um, you know, and in many ways, hip hop came as a reaction to the disco music and disco culture of the time, which we'll talk a little bit about um, in future units. Um, and then the element of competition, right? Be, to have the best style, the most unique style, to have the best moves, to have the best break beats, to have the best rhymes, you know, to have the, you know, the best letters, the most dopest colors, the most wildest style. Um, you know, art and, and on the trains, you know, stuff like that. Competition is at the core of hip hop culture is what drives innovation and drives the culture uh, forward. It's, it's of utmost uh, importance, you know.